Okay, well, I've opened up my PDF into Acrobat, um, Adobe Acrobat, uh, whether that's Reader or Pro or whichever version you've, you have. Um, I've also um, included uh, a composite here. You, you won't have um, the composite in yours, but I've just included the composite there that actually shows the colors um, just for the demonstration purposes. So yours will look a little bit different to that and we'll, I'll go through um, what yours should look like in a little while. So um, just to remind you, we had the 100% cyan, the 100% magenta, um, the 100% yellow and the color there that was a mix of um, all colors. So what we should see on our separations is that this will appear on the cyan as well as this, this will appear on the magenta as well as this, this the yellow one will appear on the yellow as well as this one and the black one will only have that that particular image on there. So if I just go through um, this PDF, so I'll just click on to the next page, we can see here um, really handy that um, when you do make your separations PDF, each color um, separation is actually named. So when, when that happens through, through the PDF process, um, it, the each, um, each color process color gets named. Here we can see we're on cyan and in the cyan as we kind of expected there is the pure black of the cyan um, circle that we had um, and that's that's black. That's to show that's 100% black. That shows shows us that that cyan shape there needs 100% um, cyan ink on it. If I just go back here the reason it's that shape is that although when we drew that, um, or I drew it, I drew it as a circle and then I placed circles on top of it, obviously when this comes to print, there's no way that that can be um, a cyan sort of circle in the background with a yellow circle placed printed on top because where we had this, um, where you get that sort of overlapping, um, if you put yellow ink on top of blue ink then you will get green. If you place pink ink on top of blue ink or cyan ink you will get purple. So um, when you actually make the separations it sh actually shows you the shape that will be placed on there. Um, and that can actually cause some problems on the overlap but that will be covered later in um, a later content um, when you actually if you go pr process through to um, Cert 4. We can also see that um, the, the shape, the color there that was a mix of all colors in cyan, it's going to have a small percentage of cyan on there. And I think from memory, it was around about sort of 30 percent cyan included in that in that um, color. If we go on to magenta now, as expected, we have the magenta um, sort of shape there, the, the circle that was 100% magenta um, is included. And interesting, it looks like that that color, um, our sort of unusual pinky purpley color, is actually um, did, does have 100% magenta in it as well because that's pure black. We go into yellow now and as expected we have our yellow, 100% um, yellow ink on the yellow plate um, and the, the um, different coloured um, purpley pinky circle actually has a percentage of yellow in there um, and that looks like a little bit more than the cyan so um, again probably around about 40% um, yellow included in that colour. And if we go on to black, black's not included in any of the other shapes apart from our color mix. And by memory, I think that that was about 10% black ink. So that's that represents the black ink that would need to be included on that um, in that color to make that mix. So hopefully that's um, cleared separations up and a little bit about printing plates. And um, as I said, that will be part of your assessment. So you may need to come back and watch this video. So thanks a lot.